out here at Diamond Dawn's. Gorgeous morning here Saturday. Look at that berm over there. Ready to rip that thing. Hey, what's up everybody? It's Scotty with Evil Castrigal. We're out here at Diamond Dons in Jefferson, Texas. We're gonna race a little vintage motocross. This may or may not be the last year at Diamond Dons. Uh, hopefully not because although we haven't ridden yet, this place is awesome. Loads of vintage bikes. Like I think a 365 rider turnout today. We'll see what tomorrow holds. We've also got over 60 XRs here racing today in an exhibition race. I'm here with Blake Warden. He's going to be racing an XR 200 uh, today and tomorrow. Uh, a little halftime show program for that. Um, so that's really cool. A lot of really cool XR builds. We'll check some of those out today uh, while we're just here watching because Pop and I are going to be racing tomorrow. Right, Pop? That's right. That's yep. right? Yeah, the track is uh, not technical. But it looks really fast and super fun. I'm uh, very excited to uh, to uh, see what we can do on this. Yeah, you're excited. Very. It's been a pretty good drive for you, I believe. Eleven hours. Love a, more like twelve. More like twelve hours. Yeah, it was about twelve hours yesterday, and and uh, so anyway. But I'm not tired. I'm ready to go. You know, Dad always says that his YZ doesn't look as good as mine, but. I think uh, he's beating me this weekend. Uh, I don't know. He's got some new graphics on it. We'll check that out here in a bit. Uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, mine's mine's looking a little thrashed. But Battle scars. You do. I wasn't expecting to come down here, uh, but when I got the invite, I couldn't say no. Um, really yeah, cool. If we're going to a vintage race, we got to bring yeah. down his bike to ride. There's a lot of really <laughs> cool people here. Uh, a lot, a of, lot, of, lot of legends. Of yeah, a lot, a of, lot legends. of legendary riders from the Back in the day. Yeah. Too many to list. And the fastest Amazing. man in Piedmont is here. Also, Randy Richardson, so senior citizen, uh, ripping out here on his Husqvarna. Chatted with him a little bit earlier. Um, really cool event. Maybe if it happens again next year, you should check it out. I don't know. Anyway. Buy this. This is a good deal.
Mexico. I'm here with Blake Wharton today. It's race day Sunday here at Diamond Dons. We're going to be out here on the 81 YZ250, and uh, we're going to be riding it in Grand Prix class, is what they call it, uh, in Arma. Blake's going to be doing the second moto, right? That's right. I'll be a second moto on the XR200, and I'll be racing the XR200 in another class also. So uh, we're pretty excited. We'll see how the day goes. All right, man. Well, we're, we're hoping for good starts. Getting out of that first turn clean today. Staying out of that dust. Staying out of the dust. Keeping the bikes running. Running. That's right. That's right. All right, man. Let's have fun today. Cool. Diamond Dawn's right here. You're right. You're right. Everybody. <laughs> I'm celebrating yeah, the celebrating the independence of Mexico. Right. 15th of September. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Excellent. Randy Richardson's down. Fastest man in Piedmont's having a rough one. BSA is ripping out here. Randy Richardson has already caught up in second place here.
right, what's up? It's midday. Um, everybody's done with their first motos anyway. Um, Pop and I did all right. Yeah. Actually, Pop, Pop was uh, running pretty good. He ended up third, right? Third in your yeah, moto? third in the first moto. So uh, it's, the day's looking all right. My bike was making a little bit of a noise, although we did come out with a W. Uh, so we won the first moto. Um, hopefully the bike holds together for the second. It may have been the uh, exhaust. It was a little loose, so hopefully that's where the noise is coming from. We went ahead and replaced the uh, fuel line because I noticed it had a little cut in it and may have been getting some air uh, in with the fuel there. So we're hoping that she holds together. It was running really good other than the little noise it was making. It sounded good, but I was over pretty close to the track, and I heard the noise, and uh, I thought his silencer was going to fall off, actually, because <laughs> it was a little louder and it sounded different. But uh, Anyway, it uh, uh, I, I don't think it was an engine issue. Yep. Yeah. So let's uh, get on to Moto 2. Yep. All right. So another little midday update. We're here with Blake. Um, had an unfortunate happenstance in the XR race again. That's right. But uh, the bike, the bike is okay. The bike is okay. We did have an issue, which caused yeah. me not to finish the race. But no, it was a good time regardless. We were riding good before that. Uh, great to see the turnout. Awesome turnout that we had. Awesome turnout. So um, it's all up to you now. No pressure <laughs> or anything. But um, uh, we expect uh, to come home with a W. Okay. You know how Jordan is. He's real finicky. He wants a that. W. Jordan has fixed up the bike a little bit. We talked about that. We had a little fuel line issue. Uh, and we've got the guy that finished behind me mad-dogging us. He was riding around the pits mad-dogging me. So <laughs> he wants a piece. Look, it's vintage racing. We're going old school. It's old school mad-dog. You've got to talk to trash. you got to get in his head. So I'm just going to not think about it. We're just going to go out there, man. That. That's a good strategy. All right, man. It's fun. Thanks, Blake. Hmm. Let's get after it, man.
It's Scotty with Evil Castrigal. I just want to give a quick shout out to some of the people that helped me help get me here. Uh, so shout out to CC Power Sports, um, always supporting me, and uh, it's a great job to have, and they support me and everything I like to do for fun. And thanks to Fly Racing for kitting me out today in a fresh new set of gear, so I could come out and get it dirty and ride old motorcycles. Blake. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just uh, thanks and. Uh, Really enjoyed it. Love the new Formula helmet. This thing is great. Super lightweight. And I love the boa. You can see that back there on the booty. Cinch that up for a perfect fit. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. So that's a wrap on Diamond Dons 2023. We hope they bring this back. I don't know. They say it's the last one, but Man, pretty I was, successful. I don't, I don't see how they could make it the last one. Huh? It was, I was glad to be here. Yeah. So fun. Really so, super fun. Pop. Who has been lacking on the hole shots on the YZ250? Actually, got great starts today. Had a good day. Finished on the up front. Shots. Went, you went three three today. Yeah, yeah. I had a pretty good ride, really, yeah. and I uh, got good starts. Top five hole shots all day, and uh, really the fourth and the second in the second moto of the 50 plus class. In the in the hole shot was pretty good, and I managed the third place. Uh, went three three, uh, but. Uh, Good day. Had a good time. Yeah, man. You were looking good out there. I was I was pretty stoked on his uh, performance today. The Striegels went 3-3. Well, I went 1-3. I fell over in the second moto, but uh, the Striegels are his third place today. You know, what can you do? <laughs> yeah. uh, I hope they bring this back because we'll be back next year. Yeah, I will definitely come yeah. back here. It was right. worth the 12-hour drive. Had a ball. <laughs> right on. Thanks for watching, guys. Good job, Pop. Thanks, son. All right. Striegel. <laughs> Rabbi! One more shout out, real quick, here at the end of the video. I just want to shout out Bryson. He was a young uh, little fella who uh, came up and chatted with me. I guess he's a fan of the YouTube channel. So, Bryson, if you're watching this, uh, thanks for coming out. You kind of made my weekend, buddy. Cheers.